Hi, my name is Nestor Wagner. Uh, today I want to talk to you about how, how AI can help the professional interpreter in transferring terms in a much more accurate manner uh, and, make, and thus make the job easier for the interpreter and more professional. Um, as you probably have heard, uh, there is a lot of misconceptions about AI. Uh, it's not uh, something that is going to replace us. Let's just make sure you understand that. It's, AI is something that is going to help us. And it's going to help us be better prepared. And in what way? How? For our job, really. Better prepared to do our job. Well, for example, say for example that you are interpreting in a trial, in a criminal trial, and there is going to be a, an expert witness testifying tomorrow on DNA evidence. And then you say, well, I have to be ready because I need to interpret this for the defendant using the simultaneous mode. Where do you get the information? You may have a glossary, but the key would be, wouldn't be great if you can actually type uh, Please tell me about DNA evidence and the corresponding translations and can I also watch a typical testimony, expert witness testimony for DNA and then get everything there in, in, in front of your screen? Of course. Well, that, that can be done with AI because AI will be able to capture some knowledge base that is provided by a reputable entity not by the uh, uh, GPT, for example, which uses public domain. We don't want to use public domain because you don't even know who uploaded that information to the internet. But if you have uh, an AI model that has been fed by information or knowledge from a reputable entity, then what you have is the ability to ask questions and get really accurate answers to those questions along with translations of terms and so on and so forth. So AI in general is going to help you prepare to do a much better job. And another example of it, let's say you just start working as an interpreter, a medical interpreter in the hospital. What about typing what is the typical first week for a medical interpreter in the hospital and then you just basically get what is a typical first week, the typical type of interpretations that you will do in that particular hospital. And then even be able to watch a video so that that video will show you how this, how this is done, you know, how you are supposed to do your job. Or if you want, you can watch a video to actually do some practice at home before showing up to your first, uh, uh, first day on the job. So AI has all these capabilities. The key again is not to use AI from the public domain because there you can find a lot of a lot of inaccuracies. The key is to use an AI model that has been designed, that has been taught by a reputable entity who, who can provide material that actually assures you that you're interpreting correctly. AI gives you all that capability and when you have that capability you don't have to be researching in dictionaries and asking friends or whatever the cases are or fellow interpreters how how is how do you interpret material or, or in, in, in a DNA expert witness testimony uh, it's quite off quite often professional interpreters when they work in the court system they go and they do a case and then they hear a slang, for example, and then they go to the interpreter's office and they ask anybody, you know, oh, how do you say that? I didn't know how to say it. And everybody brings their own information. This, that's like checking information on a public domain because they all have their own way of saying it, but who guarantees that that is the correct way of saying it? With the AI, you can pull out your phone and say, how do you interpret this? And then if you have a knowledge base from a reputable entity, usually a school, then that's exactly where you're going to get the correct transfer. So in, in AI is going to help us a lot and it's going to help also translators, not only interpreters. It's already helping translators, but keep in mind that you have the final wording and your input is necessary because AI can do certain tasks for you, but you are the one who determines 
if those tasks were done accurately. In other words, the interpreter may become like an editor of what AI is actually saying. So don't be afraid about AI. Don't worry about AI. Just be ready for AI. Thank you.